European wild boar were first imported into Canada by the Ministry of Agriculture in the late 1980s, both to diversify livestock operations and provide variety for clients on sport hunting farms. There are currently 150 wild boar farms with approximately 10,000 individual animals. Icelandic author Snorri Sturluson from 1178 to 1241 describes the creation of a legendary boar in the prose Edda. Sindri, meaning spark, a dwarven blacksmith and maker of magical items, laid the pig skin upon the hearth. His brother, Rokr, meaning metal worker, pumped the bellows, powering the forge with relentless heat, despite the pestering and bites of a troublesome horsefly, probably that mischievous god Loki. Together the dwarves prevailed, crafting the mighty golden boar Gullinbursti as a gift for the god Freyr. Gullinbursti's mane and bristles glow brightly, repelling the dark of night, and he can charge through the air and water with greater ease than the finest stallion. Boar are strong and extremely intelligent, and escapes from Canadian farms are not uncommon. The feral boar can reproduce in the wild and survive harsh prairie winters. They can be found in at least six provinces. There is no accurate estimate for the total number of feral boar in Canada. Saskatchewan appears to have the widest distribution and likely the largest population. There is a low density of human population, and the environment offers amenable habitats, including river systems with valleys and ravines, forests and wetlands. With easy cover nearby, agricultural land offers an abundant food supply. European wild boar can weigh 220 pounds, and sows typically have four to six piglets per litter. The Canadian feral boar have interbred with feral domestic pigs, gaining attributes from domestic pigs such as larger size and higher birth rate. Canadian feral boar can weigh 440 pounds, and sows can deliver two litters of ten piglets each year. The boar uses its huge head and sharp tusks to root around for tubers and invertebrates, causing significant erosion to both wilderness and cropland. They often prefer to live near wetlands where they foul the water and prey on small birds and mammals, denying food sources to local native wildlife. In the winter, they build pigloos, burrowing under a blanket of cattails and grasses they have snipped off with their sharp teeth. Boar may eat smaller livestock and have been known to harass cattle and kill calves, stressing the herds they can spread diseases to both humans and livestock. The goddess Freya rides her battle boar, Hildisvini, to find her protege Otar's lineage from the seer Inla. Through the memory beer, Hildisvini is revealed to be Otar in disguise. Game or sport hunting of individual animals is not an effective way to rid the provinces of feral boar. A few adult animals may be killed but the rest of the group, or sounder, will disperse to other areas, making an animal that is already crafty and nocturnal even harder to find. The most effective way to manage the population may be through a coordinated hunt, first spotting the sounder from the air, then sending in a team of skilled hunters to eliminate the entire group. Men who have died in battle from the beginning of time dwell in the Hall Valhalla with Odin, a hall with 540 doors that 800 men can leave from at once. The cook, Andrimnir, boils a boar, Serimnir, every day in the kettle, Eldrimnir, to feed the multitude. By evening, the boar is whole again. The meat shall never run out until the final battle at Ragnarok, when the world will be largely destroyed, and most people and gods will die. Then, I think Sevrimnir will have no one to eat him. 
After the god Balder was killed through Loki's treachery, a great funeral was held. Freyr, beloved god of virility and peace, rode radiant Gullinbursti to Balder's somber funeral. A call to Saskatchewan crop insurance confirms that people can still import wild boar into Canada.